New data out this morning finds that the child poverty rate in Nova Scotia dropped during the pandemic and by a lot. That drop came at a time when there were substantial government income supports in place. Brett Ruskin is covering this story for us and joins us once again from Halifax. Brett, tell us about the findings. Well, Natasha, this rate, the big picture from this report, is a 25% drop in the overall child poverty rates here in Nova Scotia. So from 2019 to 2020, we saw a drop from around 24.3% down to 18.4%. That is the largest drop that we've seen on record ever here in Nova Scotia in terms of a, a drop in, in child poverty rate. So a good news story there, but when you take a look at the details, some of the sources of this drop, it gets to be a little bit more foggy and gray because this could just be a, a temporary improvement because in that 2019-2020 period, that is when so much of the federal funding kicked in, ramped up, CERB, all kinds of financial supports that lifted hundreds of thousands of families across the country out of poverty to allow them to, again, uh, to be part of these statistics, that this, this, this uh, incredible drop in child poverty rates. So answers the question, certainly. Uh, if there are policy changes that governments can make to affect and to improve poverty rates here in the country? The answer is resoundingly yes. The authors of this report, though, hope that uh, more is done to, to make sure that this drop continues on, that this trend continues. Natasha. And how does this compare with other provinces? Well, yeah, it's really across the board that we saw this. There's been a series of provincial reports, yes, and a national report that came out last month that found that there was a drop from around 17%, the child poverty rate in 2019, down to around 13% in 2020. So same idea, that drop due to the federal financial supports from early on in the pandemic. As for recommendations from this latest report, just a few hours old, released this morning here in Nova Scotia, they say that they are recommending a $20 an hour minimum wage across the board as well as more investments in housing to ensure that everyone can afford a roof over their heads including the systemically marginalized communities so that uh, again everyone has the supports that they need so that this trend downwards this record historic drop in child poverty rates can continue on to ensure that fewer people live in poverty here in Canada. Natasha. Brett Ruskin in Halifax. Thank you Brett.